Today I'm making a fancy five course meal for only this much. Hey guys, welcome to Cook. And sometimes you wanna have a fancy dinner experience, maybe with a loved one, or maybe just with yourself. But then you remember, you're just a student and you don't have hundreds of dollars to spend on fancy food. Today I'll show you how I made this five course dinner for not a lot of money and uh, how you can too. We're eating good tonight, boys. Okay, first course. Enjoy, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start off with some classic Italian bruschetta. For a grand total of 70 cents, it's an excellent appetizer. First, I'll dice this cheap tomato like this. If you have some extra cash, you can buy better tomatoes, definitely. This is fresh basil and it gets even cheaper if you have your own plant. And just one clove of crushed garlic. We'll add a bit of salt, some pepper and some olive oil and just mix all that up. And boom, we got a tasty tomato salad. Now, I'll just toast this single slice of sourdough on both sides and, oh yeah, rub some garlic on it like this. Then simply top it off with your tomatoes and that's it. Very basic, very easy and very tasty. I'm just gonna go in with my hand, why not? Mmm, definitely doesn't feel cheap. Alright, what is this? I have no idea you cooked it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. This is a very basic veggie soup that only cost me around 85 cents per serving. All I used were carrots, an onion, and a few potatoes. I got everything peeled and cut into medium-sized pieces. Not too big, but not too small. That's what medium means. And this plate was definitely not big enough. But yeah, you can use any veggies you want for this. This is a very minimalistic version. Oh yeah, and you'll need some veggie stock. A very cheap option is to use these uh, sort of cubes. You can find them in any grocery store, but if you want to keep your pride, you should make your own stock, unlike me. Just get all this stuff in a pan and just stir the veggies around, like we gotta let them know they're about to be obliterated. Cover them with a bunch of veggie stock like this, and also some peppercorns, if you like them of course. Put the lid on and forget about it. So mine took about 30 minutes to get to this mushy point, at which we'll transfer everything to a trusty blender. Add some more stock and blend. And now you got soup, <laughs> who knew it was that easy? I satisfyingly poured it into a bowl and I also added an optional but highly recommended dollop of creme fraiche, some parsley and an olive oil circle. Mmm, <laughs> it's excellent. Could have used a bit more seasoning, but it's very creamy, very silky. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready for the next course. But do you know what this is? Aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. This is spaghetti aglio e olio and it's one of my favorite pasta dishes of all time. It only cost me 95 cents per serving. All you need is olive oil, red pepper flakes, garlic and parsley. Oh and also make sure to invest a bit more in bronze cut pasta like this brand. It'll make a big difference because this is a very simple pasta dish as you will see. So we're just gonna chop up the parsley and with the garlic we want very thin slices definitely thinner than mine if you can and just coat the entire pan with some olive oil and on low heat start frying your garlic once it becomes nice and fragrant we want to add our pepper flakes and at this point it's gonna start smelling nice once they get kind of golden crispy you want to start your sauce add a ladle of our precious pasta water and add the pasta on top of that now we want to vigorously stir and shake the pan until the sauce starts coming together at which point i added a little salt and my parsley which is my favorite herb i love you parsley and yeah, you're essentially done. I'm sorry, Italians. I know I offended you. This is just my $1 aglio e olio. Very simple flavors. You got the garlic, you got the olive oil. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big portion too. Wow. Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it has chicken. This is green pea puree with glazed chicken. And it cost me $1.95. It was the most expensive dish on our menu. But I think it was worth it, guys. So I got this eight pack of chicken drumsticks for $4? We want to cover them with salt, cornstarch, and baking soda. My research tells me that this will get them crispy in the oven. And we'll initially bake these for 30 minutes at 220 Celsius. While they're in the oven, I want to work on a simple glaze. Let's use some soy sauce, honey, brown sugar, vinegar, and mix all that up. Heat it up and it's going to be bubbly like this. And you'll see it's going to become sort of thick. At that point, get it off the heat and it's time 
for the money shot. Brush up this nasty on your chicken and watch it turn from pale and sad to sexy and sexy. Get the chicken back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Meanwhile, let's work on the pea puree. I got some frozen peas here and we won't need a lot per serving. I just got more than I need here. Cover them with water and just boil them for a bit until they become soft so we can completely destroy them. Now, I think you're better off using a blender to be honest because my puree was a bit of a fail. It wasn't smooth at all. Still very good though. After I mixed in some cold butter and some seasoning, I put my puree in some ice so it can maintain its consistency before my chicken came out. And look at that shiny glaze, I just wanna lick it. Now I plated this with the classic fancy puree technique. This is a fancy channel guys, we gotta get fancy. And then just, uh, I don't know, place your chicken somehow. <laughs> and it looked kind of boring, so I dropped some fresh herbs on top and that's our fourth course. I'm very excited about this. I've never done this before. This is glazed chicken. Oh, mmm, full of flavor. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of myself. And it's time for my favorite course, this dessert. We have some poop. Poop? Poop. It is not poop. This right here is some heavenly chocolate mousse and it cost me 60 cents per serving, that's pretty crazy. So I got this cheapo chocolate, it's called Salut. And we have to melt this, so just break it and put it over a pot of hot water with some butter. And of course I put this on low heat on my stove so it started melting. Then grab some sort of bowl or really anything and beat up some cheap heavy cream. The secret is to not beat it up too hard, we're going for a gentle softness. Anyways, we're gonna grab two eggs and expertly separate them like this. And of course we're gonna beat those egg whites while gradually adding sugar. To form a stiff peaked meringue. And now look, the chocolate is melted, so I'm just gonna incorporate the butter and add one egg yolk. And don't be stupid like me, please. Wait for the chocolate to cool down before doing this. But you know what? It still worked. So after mixing the chocolate with the cream, you wanna add your meringue in two stages. And for the second stage, you wanna fold it like this. Ooh, that's... Oh. Mm. Now give your spatula to your local food liquor and get it in the fridge for at least 4 hours. When it's finally time to plate, just do anything but what I did. Because that's not nice. I tried to save it with some cocoa powder and some crackers and yeah, this is the result. Alright, this chocolate mousse looks a bit sad now because it, it stayed out and it kind of melted. Oh wow. Woo! I make this pretty often. I feel like this one is especially good. It feels like eating a chocolate cloud. It makes me so happy to eat things. The total price of all these dishes was this much. And that is amazing. But before you go, I wanna give a massive shout out to today's sponsor, which is you. Every single one of you, you guys helped this channel to reach 1,000 subscribers. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone. Guys, one year from now, you'll be one of the OGs. And also please, click on one of these two videos. I'm sure you like them. Take care of yourselves and go make a five course meal. Why not?